Hello everyone, my name is Silverwolf, and welcome back to Factorio. This is episode 7, and today we're going to pick up where we left off in setting up some automation on our new inserters. So, since we played last time, there has been some updates in that version 1.1 is now considered a stable release. Unfortunately, that also means that some of our mods are disabled. While I was able to update most of them, we have unfortunately lost Cannon Turrets Mark II, which is going to be a little bit disappointing for later on, as I am a bit of a fan of those, but that's alright, we'll just continue on. We'll see how we go. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. Now then. Uh, set these up to do inserters. When I can find inserters, I must be blind. I certainly am. Uh, can I do... I can't do it yet. Okay, so what do I need? Um, logistics, sorry, fast inserter, requires iron plates, electronic, electric gear units, and inserters, cool. So, we need to get uh, two more assembly machines, which we'll put there and there. This doesn't need to be that long. So what we'll do here is use these fellas to put those in. Am I going to have enough green circuits here? Why am I doing green? Oh boy. Okay. That's okay. This should still be alright. power going here. We can't do anything with this yet as we don't have the recipes, but we're just sort of building up a bit of a stockpile and we'll get to it once we get the recipe done. Okay. And we're out of coal down here. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, this is going to be a problem. See, I'm silly, and I didn't leave enough room for a coal line. Uh, okay. Why did I do that? I've got to dismantle this entire setup. I need to move everything over one line. Unless... No, what we'll do, we'll do it a bit differently. Because we're dumb. Okay. So what we're going to do here... Bring this down one more row. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can't do the next level of that one yet, so let's do electronics. And put that there. So then, I'm going to go up here. Collect all the iron on this line. And I'm going to need to do the same thing over here. Past me is a dumb, dumb person. And he and I are going to have strong words later on. But that's okay. For now, let's try and fix the mistakes that he made. Like this one here that's putting iron on the line. That won't, that won't help me. That will cause me problems later on. Now then, 
we are running out of transport belts. So we need to go and get some more. And if I remember rightly, I was a smart person and I automated them somewhere. I hope. <laughs> yes, okay, fast inserters. Where did I automate those? You're probably all screaming at me now in the comments going, how did you forget these things? Well, it's been about a week since I've last played. I've been pretty busy. That's right, we'll find them somewhere. Gear wheels, gear wheels, we're out of coal down here. Get some coal on my way down and fix that. Ah, we did. Excellent. Okay, so maybe past me wasn't that much of a dip. <laughs> Go away, tips. We don't need to see you. Can I turn those off? The face. Shoot tips and tricks. Go away. All right. I try to keep my UI a little bit less cluttered. Alrighty, and we're out of coal over here as well. See, this is why we add coal to the line. What I'd normally do is put coal around the outside and then use long inserters to put them in, but I can't quite do that yet due to power requirements. But once we get up to steel, we'll be able to do that. All right. That's not going to be as effective as it should be, but that's right, it'll work fine. I do want to put some more miners here though, now that I'm using more coal. Coal is super, super important, and without it we are in big trouble. Okay. Some power down there for those two. We are getting some damage here on our turrets, so I might just make some repair kits in a moment. Uh, what do I need? Heavy armor next. Yep. <laughs> so this is what we need to work towards. Electrical energy distribution one. Once we can get that, that's when everything becomes so much easier. Alright, so we'll just build five repair kits. Let's quickly do some repairs on these guys so the neighbors don't kill them. That would be bad. How are we going for ammo down here? Yep, you're doing fine. Alright, just do some quick repairs. Everything's looking good. Repair this light for this power pole. Alrighty. Right, now the repairs are done. So what we need to do now is get green science going. For green science, we need inserters and transport belts. And we also need to get our production going here. For fast inserters. And we're out of iron chests. Make some more of those, shall we? I should automate those as well, but I don't use iron chests late game. I tend to move on to steel, as steel will work better for our logistics later on, as you'll understand. 
So for now, we're just going to stick with building them in our inventory, as soon enough we'll replace them. Alright, so where am I making heaps of iron that I'm not using? Can't really take that away, but I could split that off. Hmm. Okay, bullet manufacturing is going well. Maybe I could expand that into steel production. Yeah, I think that's the way to go, that we'll expand that into steel production. But for now, what we're going to do is we have, where did I put them? I am losing my mind today, I swear. Okay, so what we have here is we have belts being made. Now, these guys are taking up all my iron, which I'm not happy about. Okay, armor's done. Uh, at this point, Steel Axe is kind of useless, because it just increases the mining speed, which we don't mine much as a character, but it's better to have research running, in my opinion, rather than, than not. So, put that down there. Alright, so what we need to do is automate green science. Because I don't want to be sitting here making it myself. So we're going to get all this. Or are we? No, we're not. Change of plans, as always. Now while we're just messing about, I wanted to share a bit of a story with you guys. Um, most of you that know me would understand that I am not in any way, shape, or form an adult. I am most definitely a child in an adult's, in an adult's body. Although, to be fair, I do have the body of an 18 year old. I keep it in the fridge. Anyway, moving on. I had to do adult things recently. Yes. So, yesterday I was at the shopping centre and I had to buy toothpaste. Very adult, yes. Now, the other thing I had to do is I got very excited about this. And this was kind of odd because this was one of the rare times that I was actually being an adult. I know, it's, it's insane. But anyway, what happened was I was at... I realised that the toilet paper I bought a year ago has almost run out. And I'm like, well, what do I do? Where do I get it from? I don't buy toilet paper. I haven't bought toilet paper in over a year. Toilet paper is sold out everywhere because of the pandemic. Everyone's like, oh my god, toilet paper's running out. We need toilet paper. Even though there's nothing wrong with toilet paper and it's not going anywhere. But that's another story. Because people are dumb. But I, I get very excited because I found the toilet paper that I use. See, I, I like to use a bit different toilet paper because I like fancy stuff. Get the four-ply, you know, it's better. Anyway, so, four-ply, king size, and I found it. I didn't know where to buy it from, I couldn't remember, but I found it at my local store. But, unfortunately, um, the department store that, se that sells it, even though they have a local branch, don't actually keep that specific one in stock. And I thought, well, crap, what am I going to do? Do I wait until they have it in stock? Do I come back? I don't know. Well, lucky me, or I suppose me being the smart person that I am, I went and checked the other stores, and there happens to be another store nearby. And that store happens, and that store stocks it. So, I became very excited in that I can now go and buy the toilet paper that I want. And now that I've officially run out, I'm going to have to go there tomorrow and pick some up. Or today, I guess. Potentially yesterday by the time I upload this. I don't know. We'll see.
Uh, this is not gonna work. What are you doing, you knob? Okay. Get you out of the way. Um, right, too many inserts. I don't need that many. Get a hundred of those in my inventory. All right, bring that down to there. Doesn't need to go that far because I don't need it for those two. Bring a line down here. Uh, no, it doesn't need to go there. Bring another line up here. And I think I'll go underground there. Can I do underground belts yet? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. So you're going to do belts, and you're going to do belts, and then you're going to put the belts onto this line. Okay. Uh, we've got optics, researching. Now I need to... I'm going to do this. So what I need to do is put um, inserters onto the left side of this line. Uh, but if I output them straight from here, they're going to go down the right side. If they go down the right side, that'll put them on the same side. So unless I do something funky... Okay, so we have no more research we can do, so that's fine. We'll just leave that for a bit. Um, okay, I think what I'll do is put that there, then loop it around. Down to here, and then if I put one there, that should loop it around to the right side. Yes, that worked. Awesome. So now we have automated green science. And now we just need to move it to the other side where our factories are. Our uh, labs are, rather. Speaking of which, where are my labs? Down there. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to take it down here, under that belt. So these things are cool. What these are, these are underground belts. And what they allow you to do is go under, as I, as I suggest, underground, under other belts. So this way, your spaghetti doesn't get confused. Uh, maybe I should do it the other way. Take it around the back. Yep. Down. Put that one there. And that way. That will do. Okay, so now we need to go for electrical energy distribution. Number one. So this way we can get steel. Well, steel hulls, thingies. Okay. Now then, like I was threatening to do before, because we have so much iron along here, we're going to need much, much more. Whoops. Help us when you put the belts in the right direction. Belts along there. I always put too many belts. Okay. And I put the inserters in the wrong direction as well. Yay me. I'm a smart one today, I swear.
fan. I didn't put too many belts there, do. Right. Uh, put that there. Then what we're gonna do is expand this out. Get rid of the trees. Who needs nature? Nature is not important. Later on we can burn it down, but we don't have fire tech yet. Start with eight either side and see how that goes. Steel is another, like, really important resource. I don't really know what I'm going to do with all my steel yet, so I'm just going to bring it down here and throw it in a box. Alright, let's put a couple of boxes down, put some inserters down, and now we are producing steel. And that's not enough iron. Because there's not many miners there. Alright, we're going to increase our production here, and this will probably end it for today. Oh, whoop. Uh, I knew that would happen. Why didn't I? Why did I do it that way? Okay. Bring this down around here. Put one there. Power there. Okay. Now that's going to work properly. I will get coal up there in a sh shortly, but right now I need to get some iron, some uh, more miners going there, which we have. Cool, a couple of stacks of them. Awesome. That's what I need. Because we don't have enough iron coming up this line, which is bottlenecking us. This is probably going to be massive, massive overkill, but I don't really care at this point. I just need lots and lots of iron coming up that line. Okay, yeah. bit of a longer episode today because I wanted to get all that going. I'll just bring up some coal there and then we'll finish it off here. Good to see all my coal lines are smothered, that's what I want to see. Um, I'm going to put down a wooden chest here. It's a bit in a danger zone, but that's alright. Throw all of that in there. Throw another one down. I don't really need to hold ore and such inside my inventory. 
Wait a minute, why have I got a red flashy? Red flashy, red flashy is bad. Where am I being attacked? Oh, okay, the neighbors came up here this time. Man, they really want their power tools back. Okay, that is a job for next episode. In that we need to put some more defenses up there. Oh dear, that one's red. Okay. Again. Job for next episode. We are going to... Okay, I lost a gun, a bit, gun turret there, right. They're really getting angry. Okay. We're going to need to deal with that next episode. For the fourth time that I've now said that. So we'll just get some coal. We'll take it over to our new line. And after that, we will end it here. Okay, thank you everybody for watching, this has been episode 7 of Factoria, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye!